We are on Hanamikoji Street. This is a Geisha Street, but what is the most important? This is the place where tea history started to exist in Japan for a longer time. What I mean by uh, exist? Exist started to exist because before it was in many different forms. It is said that in 729 there was drinking tea by uh, monks. It was also in Nara. But what is the most important? That Eisai monk started a temple here, and he is the person who is directly um, like responsible for bringing tea to Japan. So let's see this temple together. Please join me in this journey. We are in Kenneji. This temple is very important, not only because it's old and it's the first Zen uh, temple in Japan, but it's actually not true. It, it is called first Zen temple in Japan, but first is in Fukuoka, so it's not 100% uh, true. But basically, Eisai, which was the person who introduced uh, tea to Japan, he brought it from uh, China again, because first people who brought it was uh, uh, Kukai and Saicho, which created Shingon and Tendai Buddhism. But Eisai, he brought a Chan Buddhism, which was, is, which was later translated to, the, to Zen in Japanese, Rinzai way of Buddhism. It's very, very strongly connected with tea. And once Muso uh, Soseki, he said that Zen and is the same thing but thanks to Eisai we also have a tea ceremony which was born through the introduction tea to the um, samurai class and this step by step started to associate and tie with the um, Japanese um, culture and till now we have a lot of tea we have a lot of matcha and thanks to this temple, this man who was, was buried here. So, if you will come here, please pay respect to the Eisai san, who was very, very strong and car courageous monk. So, this is where Eisai have his small place till now. 1587. The place here, which is called Tea house was designed by Sen Norikyu for Tayatami Hideyoshi. And you can see this authentic over 400 year structure in beautiful state. The place where it was love, where it was tea, where it was ceremony, all this matcha things together right now in this beautiful temple in Kenniji. This is the place where Eisai started a temple, but also a very important Dogen-san. Dogen-san was a person who started a Sotoshu, a little bit different Buddhism, more like focused on the, Buddh uh, on the meditation and actually um, super strong division from the exoteric Buddhism because Eisai was still practicing uh, exoteric practices despite starting a Rinzai Shu. So Rinzai was a little bit different, but it's a different story. <laughs> 